Welcome to Business Building with Precious Metals, Thursdays at 3 p.m. Eastern. So I got Scott Zuckman with me today. I'm Stephen Nagy, and we were talking a little bit about 7K and uh, stack and sell today. So kind of have a smaller group on um, our training live right now. So we're just going to go through some basics, kind of answer some of the questions, you know, help out. A couple of people on here are existing members in 7K already. So Claire and Tess, if you guys have any questions or want to chat about any strategies, I know you've been wanting to work with um, with Dr. V test. So maybe we could talk about some different ways of approaching him and some different strategies on the, you know, getting new members to join your organization side. But that's uh, kind of what we'll talk a little bit about today. Um, stack and sell is in, this is a, it, what is it? 200 bucks a year, Scott, but it's included with the 7K membership, right? That's so that's, correct. is it both memberships or the premier membership only? You get the stack and sell with either of the two memberships. However, okay. you get the upgraded, $200 a year stack and sell for free with the premier. And okay. Premium. So the premier basically pays for itself because why would you not want this? You know, the so, things that you're doing are on the premium so that uh, everybody can do what you're about to do. I got you. Cool. So just, if you're new to this, if you're watching this, you know, what we're talking about memberships, the memberships we're talking about are seven K, which is a kind of like a Costco or Amazon membership site. Uh, specifically for precious metals for buying gold and silver, whether that's buoyant, whether that's collectibles, like we're talking about right now. Um, and, and we can kind of go through this too, maybe just kind of do a little walkthrough of the site and stuff. But um, but part of the membership at 7K is, is this stack and sell. So this is a public um, website that anybody can join, anybody can become a member of. It's $200 a year, but it gives you an ability just like eBay to buy and sell stuff, but it's specifically for collectibles. And what Stack and Sell does is they actually have a verification process. So anytime anybody buys or sells a coin on Stack and Sell, it goes through Stack and Sell company. They actually take a look at it. They approve that it is what it is and that it's certified and all that good stuff. And then they send it out to the end buyer. So there's kind of that extra layer of security as opposed to buying something, for instance, like on eBay, where you don't know if it's if it's rated, if you if it's not, where it's coming from, is it fake, like all this stuff. And that's one of the problems that's always been with eBay and why I kind of haven't used eBay in many years. Um, you just get so much, so much stuff out there that's not real. But it's one of the nice things about Stack and so is you have that added layer. And then they also kind of keep track of everything. So what what you see on the screen right here are some of the coins that I personally own in my own collection. And so you can kind of see, you know, what they're worth, what I paid for it, if I have any equity in the coin. Um, so it's kind of a nice place to kind of organize everything that you have. And so I have five new coins I was going to scan in just to kind of show how that works. So once you, once you log in, this is the home screen right here. Um, you know, you have your dashboard kind of shows you, you know, what you have going on. I have 17 coins. I purchased two off of here. I've sold one on here. I'm watching 34 items, which by the way, you ever do the watching Scott? Absolutely. Every day. And I, I get a text on my phone that, uh, tells me, Hey, this just changed price and so forth. Yeah. Yeah, I was going to say, yeah, the text messages are really cool. Like I, I'm getting them because I'm watching so many now, like I keep getting them like multiple times, but it's really neat. You just click the link and it pulls it right up on your phone. And if you want to buy it, you can buy. So I actually just had one that, does it show me what, what it's sending me? It just shows me what I'm watching. So I just got one. I'm trying to get the whole, um, the whole collection of these Marvel things because my son thinks they're cool. So I, I just got an alert for this one right before we went on. Um, for this Thor right here, and it's actually in the equity, so I can buy it for two twenty five. But it was at two ninety five, and it's already dropped a little bit. So I'll probably maybe pull the trigger on that here soon. But it's a cool way to kind of keep an eye on stuff that you're wanting to buy. You just aren't, or you know, if you're trying to track, you know, what the prices are, if it's going up or down. Um, this is another one I thought was pretty cool. This is a two uh, ounce. Hey, you're just, you know, I just saw your cyborg. You're watching the cyborg uh, there in the top row. You just oh, yeah, passed yeah. it up a little bit. So if you go, if you, if you go back, um, I have a cyborg for sale and on stack and sell right now. And, uh, I am not the lowest price. I am not the eight fifty nine. I'm asking a lot more for it. <laughs> I gotcha. Yeah. yeah so if you like learn, first, so you're probably like this one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I'll, I'll wait till those little guys sell theirs and then I'll, I'll get the big bucks, but <laughs> yeah. It's definitely a cool coin, man. I like the bigger ones too, like these three ounce guys, like they come in the big case. They're really neat. Well, um, there's if you look, there's only 499 of them in the whole world. 
Right. And they, that is one of the coolest looking coins I've ever seen. Um, and by the way, not all 499 are MS70 or PF70 in this case, which is perfect. Oh, wow. Okay. So, That's good enough. Good what you, what'd limit. you pay for yours? Do you mind me asking? I don't mind you asking. Uh, let me go look up my stack and sell right now because I can't remember. All right, uh, while you're doing that, I'm going to add there. a couple while you're doing that. Uh, all right. All right, sure, here we go. Sure. So what you do is you go to my stack and, um, or you probably go to my listing, just go to my stack right here and then click on add item. And then you can either manually enter it or you can, um, you can scan it. And then what does the inspect graded coin mean? Scott, I haven't done that. It means if you have a coin and you want to know details on it, then you can hit that. But you don't need to because I'm going to show you a shortcut. Oh, okay. that uh, if you wish and that's also in the training i did but all you do is click on the hyperlink where it says market value oh by the way my my uh, cyborg revolution is the middle one it's uh i'm asking 975 and i paid 700 uh, paid 700 okay and um so that's just an fyi okay cool all right so what you do all right so what you do is you go to coin the note is for the gold notes which i just got a new one of those two i don't see it i'll show you in a second so the, um, the notes are those gold, those gold notes that you can, uh, it's one of the options on Autosaver that they send you each month. So I have a, a couple different accounts, a few different accounts. So each account gets different types of coins each month. So right now, one of my accounts is set up to get the gold notes each month. They're just really pretty. I mean, I don't really know as much about them as I'm learning about the coins. I just think they're really neat. So I'm going to do it for, I don't know, we'll see maybe a year and, and do a nice collection of them, maybe 10, 12 of them. And and decide from there what to do. So I'll start scanning it. And that's new right there, Scott. That wasn't on there about a month ago because I tried to scan a note in and that's, it wouldn't let me. There's a reason. It's only available for premium. So it, on the standard, it's they, they won't see it. Gotcha. Um, and so when they upgraded it, June for, they upgraded it June 1st and that's when that became available. All right. So here, so you can see now it just turned my camera to this view. So, um, so what you do is you just kind of hold the barcode. You have to keep it really still. There it goes. All right. So that's it. That's the coin. You guys just saw it right there. So then I just hit save and scan another. So we should do all five of these real fast to show you how easy it is. Okay. That was North Carolina. Is that North Carolina? Yep. So we scan yeah, another. That, that's into profit. Let's see. Oh. So this is Illinois. Let's see, Illinois. Yep, that's it right there. We got New Jersey. Boom. Save and scan another. And we got finally, last but not least, Arkansas. Or as they say, our our Kansas, right? Arkansas. All right. Yep, yep. So then once you scan all the Scan it, save an excess. That's valuable, very, very valuable. All right, so from here, if I wanna see like my newest ones and click newest and sort. So these top five ones are the ones I just now scanned. So you can see right here, the Arkansas, I paid 139, that's what they charge you on auto ship. And, um, and the market value is 195. Market so, values are <laughs> so I can click market. Instant equity. Pretty cool, huh? Yeah, that's so the I one this, if you scan, uh, if you wanted to, that's so the button. Showing press. me the counts. So right now there's three Arkansas coins for sale, three sold, and there's a, what's the items? Okay, this is a really good point. Of all of the people who have a stack and sell account, 179 have this coin. Uh -huh. Or another way to say it is, that, uh, of the owners, some of them may have two or three of them, for all we know. But they would be, there's 179 total coins owned by people with stack and sell accounts. Three of them are for sale, and three of them have sold in the past. The current lowest asking price is 198 The uh, the highest asking price is 200 So they're obviously lumped together pretty close. Um, I have one. I, I had two of those and I put one for sale. Uh, let me see which one of those is mine. <laughs> uh, no, I didn't put it for sale. I'm one of the 170 something. No, I didn't sell uh, offer it. Um, 
because I only have one and I'm trying to get a whole set of all 50 states. No, collecting all Sometimes. 50 states is uh, definitely my next goal, I believe. Well, I'm waiting for Texas to come down a little bit, but the things you just scanned, uh, I, you know, I, I want to point out the membership has its values because just check these new ones that you just did. Um, they have a, a net equity in there, right? So Arkansas is up 56 bucks. Uh, the B, the asking price is over 135. Um, it looks like Illinois might be down a little bit. I'm not sure why, uh, in terms of the market value. Uh, but if you click on that blue, let's see what the prices are asking are. Uh, 138. So the lowest one asking right now is 138, which is virtually the same thing you paid. Right. Um, so go ahead. And, yeah. Back, yeah. Back out. Hey, but look at this. It, you know, it has sold in the past for 160. So it, it has had the value. It's just right now the demand's not there, you know? That's right. And it's a cycle. Um, you find that the coins are most valuable either instantly after the company starts selling them or especially after they sell out. See, there's only 7,777 of this Illinois coin. And there are tens of thousands of uh, members on Autosaver. And eventually they're going to get them, but which means they're going to sell out. And once they're sold out, they're going to go crazy. Example, uh, if you check out Texas, check out Texas right now. And if you look at that MS-70, um, this is one I don't own yet, but I'm looking at, I'm watching. Uh, the market value says 315 because that's what they sold for, but someone has is asking 265. And I will tell you that I'm watching this coin. So just this morning, it said uh, there was one available for 260. And now it's not, which means it's sold for 260. Right. And... Right. So I'm going to tell you a little thing I'm doing. Yeah, there's only 5,000 of those. And see, the ones that are 5,000 are even more expensive. And the ones that are 2,000, which are just Idaho and Montana, those are up in the thousands right now. Wow. And those came out at 139. Check it out in the third one. Wow. Look at that. 1,200. The, the lowest asking 1,200. <laughs> and uh, there's only 2,000 of those. So people are going back and trying to get hold of these ones that have been sold out. Look at the difference between the 69 and the 70. It's $500 yeah. difference. So yeah. I buy only 70s. That's just me. That's the state label coin. Ooh, damn. People want Montana. Yeah, wow. <laughs> what was the other one you said yeah. that was good? Uh, Idaho. So let's see, MS70. That's an older, oh, that's the state coin. So this one. That's the yeah. state animal. Yeah. That's, Let's see, a thousand fifty. So um, that was the very first coin. There was only two thousand of them. Oh, yeah, right here, two thousand. Huh. It, it's a gorgeous coin. I own it. I have that coin. I bought it on Stack and Sell because it was sold out before I got. The so something else fun that I've been doing, um, Scott, and I, I, you know, I you, you kind of introduced me to this, but the seven K today, you can go on there and you can search like so. If you're like looking for a whole collection, right? Because that's kind of the thing I've been looking at. So like the evolution of life, I believe it works this way. I, I was just looking at this the other day. Hang on, where is it? Here, it's probably this one. Okay, here we go. So this is like this whole evolution of life coin series um, that came out. But you can kind of look through it. Because if you're wondering, like, because I saw one of these coins on here. I thought that they're just really neat looking. They're like old dinosaur bones and stuff, you know? And I noticed that there's like a couple different ones. Yeah, yeah. Like there's a turtle, there's the... the you know, dinosaur, this dinosaur, I don't know the names of the dinosaurs, but um, I was looking at them, you know, they're, they're really cool looking coins and, um, and, and they, you know, some of them are, are up there in price, you know, I was like, it's how many really, of these are really these, you know, how really many of these are there? So I started looking on this site and I was finding, you know, this started back in 2015, you know, and each year they come out with a new one, you know, there's less than a thousand each year. So this is kind of how you say, okay, what else do I need for my collection to complete the collection? And that's how you do that, right, that's Scott? That's right. how you kind of start learning about different things. That is. And um, there's another way to go. Um, when you're going to 7K Today, go back to 7K Today main page, and I'll show you something, another little cool trick you can do. Up on top where it says Coin Collections, just click on that, and it'll show you all of the coin collections oh, yeah. um, oh, okay. that they have as their series. 
you will see various ones. Like that's the second one is the State Animal Gold series. Uh, the Mandala, so you can see which ones you don't have. Um, we just did that on a coin drop the other day. Uh, the Miss Liberty coin collection. Uh, the, as you keep going, the Roman Empire was a very highly coveted series. There's your Roots of Humanity, the seven gold notes. Yeah. It, it even plays you a video about them. Uh, the Tomb of the Unknown Soldier just came out. You and I, I think, both have that first coin. I think. I, I don't know if you bought it. I know I did. I think I did. Uh, if you watch the Roots of Humanity, it's a great video, and it shows you what they're based on, the stained glass artwork from the mm -hmm. artist. Oh, so there's seven of them. There's seven in the series. I have six right now. And next month, I'm set to get my seventh ones. I'm gonna have I'm gonna have every one in the series. And I did scan them all into Stack and Sell, so it's in my Stack and Sell. You can you can see them. Oh, cool. Is now when when you once you, they send you the seventh one, what do they auto ship you the, the eighth month? Is it just a repeat of one, or do they have something else? It was, it, they're gonna say, do you want a repeat, or do you want to change your auto saver? Okay. Um, and they're, but they're not all sold out. So it would probably send you, start you all over again. I'm not going to do that because they are coming out with a series. I think it's 10 other ones in a different series by the same artist. And uh, I might just start that whole new one if that's available next month or the month after, I should say. Okay. Um, but the, the White House series, the, the Arizona coin collection is phenomenal. Um, I made a lot of money uh, buying and selling the first coin in the series of three. I, I bought two of them. Uh, I started in December. I paid $199 for the one ounce coin. There's 2,403 of them. I sold, it's sold out, so it's highly desirable. I uh, sold the first coin for $425, doubled my money. I sold the second one for $660, and I only paid $200. So uh, I made a profit on that. And I'm not saying this to brag. I'm saying it's because they're limited quantities because they're made by Miles Standish. And he's, he's the uh, artist who conceived and helped create the coin. And it's history. Uh, people are really you know tied in to Pearl Harbor and the USS Arizona. I remember how moved I was when I personally went to the memorial. And... Uh, mm -hmm. It, it's something. Um, although I must say that uh, my normal, I bought the two thinking I'd sell one and keep the other. But when I could sell it for 660, I just couldn't help taking that much profit. <laughs> the second coin in the series is a two ounce coin. There's only 1,941 of those uh, based. That's the year of the event. And uh, let's see. No, wait, that's not based on the year of the event. Uh, or is it? That's the survivors, I think. I can't remember. Then the that was the anchor, and it's a gorgeous coin. Gorgeous, gorgeous. And then yeah. the five ounce just came out on a coin drop, and they were gone. Um, this this one, uh, I luckily got one. Uh, there's 1177 ever made. It's actually in color like that. It's raised. It has a piece of the deck in it. That little square on the bottom with the uh, uh, the oak leaves or olive branches, whatever those are, that is going to make this exceedingly valuable, uh, in my opinion. Um, it's just one of the most stunning coins I've ever seen. So that's when you look at the collections, you'll see them. And if you see something is sold out, you know it's going up in price, uh, or it will as time goes on and on especially when silver decides to start taking a run right now the stock market is manipulating the price of silver and it dropped down to like 18 dollars today uh which is a great platform for buying if you're if you're uh, wanting to make some money um so if you look in the marketplace you can see what the different coins are going for that one is 400 and something it was 329 i think when it came out you know, watch these. Yeah, it's I, I got it. I got it when it was really high demand. Uh, so I got four twenty five first, and then six sixty, and now it's finding a place around five hundred. They're yeah. saying the, uh, for that one, they're saying the market value is only four hundred. Well, if, if the one ounce coin is worth five hundred, the two ounces is going to be worth way more. Right. And uh, there's a few of these uh, newest ones where people bought a couple so they could flip 
these are people with fast internet connections. <laughs> exactly. Uh, so yeah. that's how you see a lot of the different collections. And one other thing, if you scroll even a little further down, you'll see the state animal. And I want to show some people stuff on that, because if you're not on Autosaver and getting the state animal, you need to do it. Um, there's the shamrock one, like you had the gold, the one with gold gilding. Oh yeah, and uh, that you got a profit in that. Yeah, I saw. Yeah. These are cool too. I have, I have that one right there. That one's neat though, with the yeah. shark. The shark was uh, out earlier, and uh, I think it's you can buy it on Stack and Sell. I have the alligator myself. Yeah, keep going up. Oh, here we go. Start animal. at the top. There it is. Okay, now when you scroll down from here you'll see how many of each coin but you'll also be able to play a video on the series which is really good um, but it tells you see bella alabama it's still sending okay uh, right there currently sending oh yeah and that's how you can know if they're not sold out yet right, right. and and your uh, alaska's are up in value they're already higher arizona is uh coming out still Pretty soon you're going to get to some of the ones that are, okay, currently sending Arkansas. That mockingbird is worth a lot too, by the way. Now check the bear, the California grizzly bear. It's sold out and it was only 5,000 of them. Those are were up near 300 bucks. I paid 200 and change. So the only way to get one of these, you can't get it from, from 7K anymore. So you'd have to come on something like Stack and Sell to buy it. Or uh, it's way higher on eBay. I checked that too. Oh, really? um, and eBay, you don't even know if they're counterfeiting them or not, so I'm not going to bother. But 156 is the lowest asking price, and there's a bunch of them bunched in there. Um, I paid a little bit more than that, and it's come down. But I know that since there's only 5,000, uh, once these people get, get rid of theirs, it's going to pop right back up again because they are sold out. Currently sending, currently sending, currently sending. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's good. So there's lots still available. Yeah, that's, what I'm trying to, that's what I'm trying to do like five or 10 a month so I can get them all before they sell out, Scott. I agree with you. Idaho Appaloosa sold out. Can't get it. Um, I saw one that says coming soon. And that there's about 15 or 20 states that haven't even come out yet. Louisiana sold out. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I bought that off Stack and Sell too because I knew I couldn't get it anywhere. Yeah, there's one for you. Yep, 5,000 of them. There, there's 5,000 of New York, Louisiana. Well, I, I, you would see them when you go through all these, but uh, the ones that say sold out are all 5,000s or 2,000. Yeah. Yeah, Nebraska hasn't started yet. That's pretty cool. A little red spot in New. I don't have that one yet. No, New York sold out. Uh, yeah. You're getting there to close to New York. There you go. The Beaver, it's sold out. I bought that uh, on Stack and Sell. Gray Squirrel. Wait, what does this say? Gray Nakoda. Squirrel. Wait, go back to that. Hold on. What does that say? Nakoda horse. Nakoda I've never heard of a Nakoda horse. Now, now, yeah, I, I don't have uh, North Dakota yet, or I would have noticed. <laughs> so is that currently sending? Yeah. Yeah. So I guess I will be getting it. Yeah, I'm doing like you did. I had 11 last month and uh, come to me. And so uh, I'm trying to catch up to all the inventory and then I won't miss out. Let me see if there's some Q and A in here. Claire has been typing some, some coins say TBD, no market value. What is that? Uh, that means to be determined. It means there haven't been enough sales to get an accurate market value yet. Um, when, what the software does is it looks at eBay Amazon, uh, Stack and Sell, and um, any other sources online where these coins may have sold. And then it comes up with a market value. If something says TBD, it means uh, not enough of them have sold yet or are listed anywhere yet. Um, also, what other aspects are Stack and Sell or in premium membership, if there's a difference between that and standard? Um, the answer is, if you had become a member of 7K before June 1st, anytime before June 1st, you're grandfathered into the premium version of Stack and Sell, even if you were a standard member. If you joined after June 1st, then a standard member has a limit of only 100 coins that they can uh, buy and sell and stack. 
um, whereas the premium has unlimited number. Um, the ability to scan notes and so forth. Um, there is uh, the ability to see the market value link. Those are some of the differences um, between them. But the biggest one is how many coins you can do. And then do you have a, a favorite website to follow what precious metals are doing in the market? <laughs> yes, <laughs> it's called 7K. <laughs> Um, let me let me share my screen for a second and take yeah. over. So, by the way, this is uh, my stack, and you can see where I scanned in uh, notes. So they have the notes there. I have the alligator too, and a whole bunch of states. Um, I, I list my son, my daughter, my wife, and my company's uh, coins on my stack and sell. So uh, I have lots, and uh, that's how I come up with like three of the uh, Washington ones, for example. Also, I've sold a whole lot of coins that I had duplicates of already. Bear, I paid 205 and currently, as you just showed, if I look here, the uh, low, the, they're asking 156. So uh, I might have overpaid, <laughs> but I'm not worried because there's only 5,000 of them, so they'll come back. I have no worries about that at all. Uh, example, I paid a thousand for the Idaho coin, and uh, its market value is twelve hundred. Uh, well, value is one seventy eight, but the lowest asking price is twelve hundred. On eBay, they're asking two thousand for that exact same coin. Uh, eBay has a lot higher fees to the seller. Um, Louisiana, I bought that. I think it's going to be back up. All the five thousands will be back up. If you see item for sale. Uh, that's ones I have for sale. So uh, I have two of those, as you can notice. There's one on the right and one on the left. And uh, this one, I'm asking 189. And uh, the reason I chose that, if I click on here, you can see that I am the lowest. Okay. The next lowest guy was 199. So I and there's only two of them for sale. And so that is very low. So I, I, I dropped it to 189 to try to get a fast sale. And I did that literally uh, today before the call. Uh, so that's very recent. If I were to go down to say 160, it'd be sold in two minutes. I don't care if I have to wait an extra day or two to get, you know, an extra $30. Um, here's the two Nevada, I mean, New York's I bought. I paid 120 for the first one um, before I even knew what I was doing. And that, that right now, the lowest asking price is 145. Okay. And um, so that is the same as market. There's $25 equity there. This one I paid 160 because I know from experience, you're going to see two to $300, just like Texas. There's no reason Texas would be $300 right now and New York only, you know, 145. So these are going up, just a question of when, and can I be patient? And the answer is, of course, I can be patient. There's the Arkansas you just got. Look at that. I mean, if you have extras, you could turn around and sell one right away. I only have one of them, so I'm not selling it. Um, let's see. This uh, uh, There's the cyborg I was telling you about. It's for sale because I bought two of them. And one to keep because I'm I'm never selling the other one because it's so awesome. But this one I'm asking 975, which is right in the middle of the values. Because if you go to that market here, you can see there are three for sale, and the lowest is 859. I'm 975, and somebody else is 1550. And there's only 15 of these coins owned by the entire community on Stack and Sell, and I have two of them. <laughs> so. Uh, percentage wise, I, I, I think they're going to just really, really go up and they are very, you know, there's not that many of them. So anyway, I've got a bunch of them, no sense, you know, showing, but I, I, I could scroll through forever. How do you keep track of the price of gold and silver? You go to your dashboard. And it's the first thing you see right here. So as we are speaking, the price is 1711.80 on the spot in New York Stock Exchange. And silver is 1849. So it's dipped under $19, which is just phenomenal. Now, if you're asking where do you follow 
the the trend, you can go get graphs. Just Google it, and and just you know Google chart, of, you know gold and silver chart. And so I hope that answered it. But what I do is I just check my dashboard every single day, and it tells me. Now, if you wanted to buy bullion, you know you you could go to your Sound Money wallet. And it shows you that for a gold eagle, it's going to be $2,015 right now for one ounce of gold, bullion uh, eagle, and it's $3,421 for one uh, silver eagle. And you can just convert any fraction of that that you want to have. You could also go to the products page and you go to dealer direct and here's some more bullion. So right now, a tube of 20 one ounce eagles would be 20 times $34 uh, and change. So it comes out to, and maybe I think they went up a point, a couple dollars extra for profit or something. So 694.80 um, if I want 20 of them. If you want 500, okay, then that's gonna be $25 uh, times this price. You can buy gold bullion, you can you know, buy other things. These change all the time. If you want uh, Britannia, a tube of 25 is 681. So that price is actually lower than an eagle, but they always are. Eagles have the highest premium of any bullion coin. Here's a one ounce maple leaf. Of course, it's sold out, so but it's 27.99. So that's even lower than 34. So again, the world seeks out gold and silver eagles. So a, a single one here is 2020, all right? Um, as I had said, it's how many wallet, that same gold eagle is 2015. So if you're buying it off the products page, it's a $5 extra. <laughs> but if you put it in the vault here, now if you have want to have it shipped to you, you can buy one ounce here and then tell them to ship it to you. You have lots and lots of options. Um, I happen to keep about 3,300 bucks right now in cash in my wallet. And uh, if I decide to buy, uh, let's say uh, I could put in a few more dollars from my bank and let's say it was 3,421 in there, then I could buy exactly a hundred silver eagles. These are options that you have. Uh, one last thing I'll show you is on collectibles. If you go to the 7K selected, you can see various coins that you can get. Uh, this is a PF 75 gram silver coin. This one is really good. I, I, I think this is a good bargain for people to grab right now. Um, and uh, you saw I had a gilded one. Uh, there's only 234. The one I have, there's only uh, 99 of them. So I, I bought that one instead. But this is big deal. So there's twice as many of these, but that's still really low. Anything under 500 minted is, is still pretty dang good. Um, so this is three ounces of silver. If you want to magnify the picture, you can take a look at it. Uh, I was talking to Tim McRae yesterday, and he loves this coin. He says this is actually the favorite one in his whole collection. Uh, wow. Just because apparently, yeah, this relief is raised, and it's apparently really, really cool when you're holding it live. Anyway, it is a little bit pricey at $4.99, um, and I don't even know if anybody's uh, selling them on Stack and Sell. So why don't I put Bactri in, in there and find out? Uh, oh, it, it, maybe nobody's selling them yet. Well, actually, all right. This is, these are the two others that are sold out from 7K. Uh, so this one was a three ounce. This one's a three ounce, but they're different treatments on them. You can see this is semi-gilded and the other one is uh, totally gilded. Um, there are 99 of these coins in the whole world. I missed it on the, uh, when it appeared on the website, it was sold out before I could buy it, hmm. <laughs> yeah, which sucks, but you know, so be it. Um, and somebody's selling it for only a $50 profit. If you wanted this and there's only a hundred of them in the world, I would, I, I might even myself just go buy it for the 599. Uh, if you want to magnify this, and so like the one that's there, which is 234 of them, uh, you don't see the gilding around this. But now you get a better idea of what the picture actually looks like. It's a chariot with a lion. I love that. Uh, anyway, uh, I think somebody's selling that for a pretty good bargain. And there's only one of them listed. 
So that's uh, not a bad idea. Uh, I might just go back and get that. I have this one, and I bought two of them. And they are also only 99 But the reason I bought two is because I couldn't get the other one. It was sold out. And I paid, uh, the, it says the market value is five ninety nine. but look at what they're asking. $1,390, $1,400, $1,600. So th there's a big difference between 99 and 234 but not as big as it's showing. So um, if I wanted to list mine right now, I would probably list it for like, just 1200 or 1250 cut this guy way down and I still would double my money because I paid something like 550 or something remember uh, when it first came out what is TBD to be determined that has to do with the price so I've seen this before where you go into the marketplace and you look at a coin and it says TBD or you go into your own stack and maybe a coin you already own has a price that's TBD. Yeah. Um, I think Claire is trying to ask, would I buy it or should she buy it and how to do it? So the only way I can answer that is by knowing what you're talking about. Um, you know, it's not off limits. Uh, you can buy a coin that says TBD. Uh, if you can show me, I, it would be no different than, than whatever the seller is asking if you're willing to pay it. You can buy it. It's not off limits. Okay. Well, I guess that's what you were really asking. So I'll just leave it at that. You know how when you're looking at your collection, you can click on market and it gives you like all those details and everything. Can you yes. like what's sold and stuff? Can you, you, you can't do that with just like the marketplace items. It has to be something you already own in your, your own collection. That is correct. That is a feature of stack and sell. They're not going to give you all that detail if you don't own the coin. Right. So if you own the coin, you either go uh, click on that blue hyperlink for the market and you'll get all the details. Right. But there's no other way to get those details if you don't own the coin. If I go to uh, add an item and it says inspect, let's say I haven't put a coin into my stack yet. Then I could hit inspect and hold it up and it will give me all that same information. But once you've entered it into your stack, you can either do it this way or click the blue link. Um, I'll remember to send you the link um, of my training on this. And it had a few other things like how do you hook your uh, stack and sell up to your smart money wallet so that you can use money from smart money wallet to pay for purchases on stack and sell. And you can take profits on stack and sell and move that money into your smart money wallet. Yeah. So those are a couple of cool features that, that work as well. Um, so uh, the one thing Scott, I'll mention is I don't, I don't know if there's anybody on here that wants to kind of learn more, you know, about this, or you want to talk with, with um, Scott or myself on the phone. Um, do you have that phone number they can text? All right. And then 651 210 2288. I'll say it again in case you guys can't see the chat. Steven's going to type it in for you. 651-210-2288. If you'd like to know how to become a member of 7K, just type 7K or text it to 651-210-2288. And um, I'll consult with you. Um, I'll just schedule a time uh, and, um, you know, just and you guys, and question. keep in mind too, like everyone that's on here, like you guys are all part of our team. So if you have other people that you've kind of like shown your coins to, and they have any interest or anything like that, like, you know, we're more than happy to talk with them for you or hop on a three-way call or, you know, provide whatever other information or, you know, answer any questions. Like you don't have to do this stuff on your own. So like, you, you know, use us as your team. Like we're here to help you. Like, like I said earlier, like even people that, you know, are coming through our network and community, like we're placing these people under you guys right now. So, cause we all, you know, anybody I place under like Tess, for instance, it just helps all the rest of us too. So we're happy to help anybody that we can, you know, even if you're already a member, but you just have somebody else that, you know, might want to, want to, you know, become a member also, we're more than happy to help with. Also, I should point out, if you want to put your uh, link tree in there, um, perhaps somebody would want to watch some of our past uh, webinars and learn a few more things about metals where I talk about why D 
do you want bullion? What's the difference between bullion and collectibles? You could go to this uh, slash 7K promo link that Stephen just put in. And uh, from there, you can also watch uh, webinars that we've done before, but you can also find on Thursday nights uh, at 8.30 Eastern, I do a very special presentation of the entire 7K membership experience. And uh, it's about 45 minutes long. However, uh, gives for those of you who are not already members, it will give you more info and uh, over and above what you and I could privately talk about if you text 651-210-2288. But I would love to share with you the benefits of being a member. I have paid for mine so many times over. It's silly. I've made probably 25,000 bucks since uh, January um, with gold and silver. And right now, buying it at the lowest possible price is just like incredibly perfectly timed because... If you look at the trends in history, the last time uh, we had a big uh, inflationary period was in the early 80s, uh, starting late 70s. And, uh, you know, mortgages went up to 18 percent. And we have mortgages now going for 6 percent and higher when they were just two and a quarter, uh, you know, several months ago. So the point is banks are raising the rates, Fed's raising the rates. Everything's going up. Your dollar is worth less and less, uh, buying less with the same dollars or using more dollars to buy the same thing. Uh, whereas gold and silver uh, are poised to take a jump like uh, they did in the 80s and they doubled and tripled in price. Uh, I think this time experts are saying they should uh, you know, go that much and more, maybe even uh, uh, some people are even predicting five fold increase, like, like $100 silver. Well, if you bought your silver at 30 bucks, $35, and you get it to 100 I think you'd be pretty happy tripling your money, right? So now's the time. So give, give me a call. Look at the link. I highly encourage it. There's no pressure. You don't have to do anything, but it's all informational. All right. Awesome. Well, thanks for being here, everybody. You know, we can do this every Thursday, as you guys know. So feel free to invite people to it you know, outside, you know, you don't have to be a member or anything, you know, we obviously are here to help whoever. So if you guys want to invite people, feel free to do that and then reach out to us if we can help you at all. We appreciate you being here. Thank you, Scott, for your time. Like always, you are a, I learned something new from you every single week. So I love it, man. This is, um, this was really good today. I appreciate it. Yeah, more than pleasurable. And I hope to talk to some of the people on the line here. Uh, like John, thank you for saying thanks, and I look forward to talking to you if you want more info. Uh, one of the things that I will say, you should invite people onto this call. Like Stephen said, he said, feel free, but I'm going to actually make it more firm. If you love somebody, your kids, your relatives, your friends, uh, anybody that you work with, if you care about them, you should care that they're losing money sitting in the bank. If you want to help somebody, tell them about gold and silver. They will probably not know anything. You probably don't know what to say. So put them on this call next Thursday or put them on one of our Thursday night calls at 830 Eastern. Uh, You can get that link from that link tree that Stephen put, and it will tell you that link uh, to get on tonight's call. It's a Zoom. And um, we also do those Monday through Thursday. So if you can't make it tonight, you could do it uh, Saturday morning at noon Eastern, uh, or you can do it Monday through Thursday. Same link, uh, same times. Okay? I, I hope that helps. All right. Cool. Bye-bye, everybody. All right. Thanks, Scott. We'll see you soon. Thanks, everybody. Look forward to talking to you. Bye-bye.